Hello guys, um, welcome to today's tutorial. And so I created Buzz, um, and that was last week, and the last week of June, and um, it got a lot of uh, attention and engagement on social media, uh, most especially Twitter, and a lot of persons actually wanted to see a tutorial on how this was done so today i will be covering the wireframe i'm going to have this section um multiple times i think about three times because this actually took me three days to cover up so i'm going to see how i can break this down for you guys so you understand it and try not to make this video um so long if not this is going to take over 10 hours um, so yeah, I'm going to be drawing a wireframe today and just watch closely to the tips and tricks of Figma um, so you understand how these um, work. Yeah, so without wasting much of your time, I would go into this. This is Boss and I will be drawing a wireframe and then we can proceed from there. So watch closely as I will be explaining every part of this drawing because um, there are some tricks to drawing curves and I draw with my mouse I actually drew this with my mouse um, so um, yeah a whole lot of persons would doubt it um, yeah but I actually drew this with my mouse the curves that you can see here everything was was done with my mouse so this is not a high um, resolution um, so you might feel have some distorts um, so I'll just take you to the high resolution over here. Yeah, so you can find the curves around there. So let's let's get into this. Um, so you can see exactly what I I did here. So you can see some of the shapes. If I'm holding control, I can select actual it. So I'm going to get right into this. Uh, yeah, you can watch closely. All right, with the pen tool, which is P. And it's at the top here, so I'm, I'm just going to start drawing. And so, how did I do this? Um, and big shout out to my friend M Hesh. Um, M Hesh actually tagged me to this post on Twitter, and then I had to challenge myself to to draw it. And so I kept sending him, um, I kept sending him the points wherever point I get to, I send it to him so he could see the progress so far. And yeah, so I'm going to start with this part, and it's pretty much easy, pretty much easy. So we we'll zoomed in. Um, but you know what? I would just bring in one of the ones at the top so that it doesn't lose its value um, when we zoom into it. So I'm just going to delete this and just bring this um, holding out so and move it downwards. Shift plus two to zoom in. Yeah, so this gives me something really perfect so i'm just going to group everything Control g over here nice and so with that i would start drawing yeah so usually you can reduce the opacity of this but i don't want to reduce the opacity so i just start drawing from here i'm going to start my points from here yeah and this is really going to be fast this would be fast and not so detailed because of the time. Uh, so I'll just take this, I'll zoom into it so you can see it clearly. Um, zoom. I'm zooming with. Um, I'm zooming with control and my mouse, so that's why you can see the sharp zoom and out. And so I'm I'm done with this part, and there's a trick. To carving distance and so the trick is while you're still on your pen tool you've closed out the points click on the V here yeah and then I will just select this and I'm just going to change the radius over here at the right and it's going to give me curve that's cool right so it gives me that curve and I can do the same for any part that I'm supposed to curve so let's say we're carving this part go back there and just cover it you know and so yeah we're going to be covering this part so i'll just hold control or I click on the curvature tool, 
and just yeah just cut that nice and sweet uh yeah so this is cool please because this is a tutorial i won't make it so detailed because of time because it took me three days to achieve this and that's about 72 hours so yeah i just um i'm going to make this as fast as possible so i'm still doing the same thing curve over here another curve over here yeah and i think that's pretty much all the curves but i'm just adding more so you get you get you get what i'm saying right <sighs> yeah so that is how i go about curving things in figma to give me that smooth effect um if not you won't you won't have that smooth curve and people ask how how manage how how do you draw the mouse and then it's it's that smooth you know so this is how i do it so it's been curved i i worked on red so that you can see the curve clearly so if i select this is about 100 123 uh, so we have that nice smooth curve going around you understand you get this you get the jack right so with that i will just duplicate this for now i will just um do the other part of this part so let me just do this um part for video sake so it's the same thing i'm just going to bring us through i change the color to red because i like working red so i'm going to change it to a stroke of four so you guys can actually see this clearly uh just curve this the top bring this in a bit yeah so there are some little details to this um bring in the square tool just draw a square zoom in curve this give it a stroke uh, i'm going to give it red change the stroke to to three so i'm using the navigation key to do that bring this and do that again um yeah so there's there's a there's a rule in um in design and it's called um repetition so that's what we'll be using to to finish up this design um a lot of persons don't pay attention to repetition so once you're working on objects and they have like the same thing so i'm just going to group all of this with this and i'm going to group it and yeah it's grouped all i have to do is just duplicate it so, yeah and just hit that again and it's going to give me that effect you, you get what i'm saying right you understand so um with that i would still just draw this i'm i'm pretty much using the pen tool uh yeah and that's how much i've studied the pen tool this comes with a lot of study actually so i'm breaking it down for you and it's very easy um so but this this came in with a lot of of study trust me i had to do a lot of study so curve this uh curve this um it's probably going to curve this bits and then the same thing we'll hold this and just do that and say gives us that nice smooth curve you know i don't have to like curve it manually and that's technology for you it's making things really really sweet and very much easier for for us yeah so yeah i can go ahead doing this in the second way but yeah i, I pretty much like this so um with that i'll just duplicate this sorry i was using alt yeah duplicate scale hold alt and yeah nice and smooth so we have that and i will just use v to just bring it in a bit yep and yes we have that over there and um, yeah this is going beyond this is leaving what we have sent it to do uh like i said this takes like a whole lot of stuff so i'll just i'll come back to this I'll, I'll actually come back to this so with that i would um draw this lighting effect the effect that makes it look like it's really sharp so drawing that just do that 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 
I know to many persons this looks pretty easy, but trust me, it's not as easy as you think. I'm trying to go and make it very easy for you guys to understand because I know that there are illustrators on the channel now watching this to see how they can make um, drawings inside of Figma really easy. So the rest of this would, um, I think, um, I think it's going to be more or less really fast uh, because I'm pretty much I've pretty much shown you how you can go about covering these lines. Um, yeah, so I would try to just take us straight to the wireframe nest. Um, so this is this is pretty much how you can go about. Um, sorry, let me bring this out. Just going to do this very quickly because they've gone into the frame yeah so select this select this and it's pretty much one two three so we have this one two three this is the frame guys have this and this and yeah put it over here yeah pretty much that and we have this okay let's see if trying to close all of the other parts that we are not using so it doesn't stop what we're working on um, yeah so we're, we're having this because we didn't close out this is trying to make this ring down Yeah, so I had some kind of glitch because of all the settings I did in the other one because um, I had like a whole lot of maxing going over there. So some of what I just did um, pretty much went into into it. So we have this and this is basically what we've done. So this is one of the breast pockets and yeah for the next video i'll be showing you how to so i've just shown you how to carve this thing so i'm just going to carve some more uh, mix we have a mix so we're just going to carve it some more over here over there so we just have like this curve thing going around you know just going around smoothly and yeah that, that's pretty much everything about this video just to show you how to have that smooth edge curve even using your mouse yeah i use my mouse so yeah you pretty much can have the same result as yeah so in the next video i'll be showing you i'll be showing you i'm just going to get rid of this so in the next video i'll be showing you how to bring this now bring your wireframes to life 
and we might not be doing everything but I'd want to show you how to get this face and some of these parts and maybe we'll just do the left parts or the right parts and some other effects you understand so in the next video I'll be using this wireframe to bring that to life if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to this channel and please leave me a thumbs up it would motivate me to bring it more videos to you and um, yeah and be consistent with it so if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and I would see you in the next video and remember I am rooting for you